So today we are going to begin talking about role-based authentication, but today's class is going to be very easy because we are simply going to set up the page to manage roles. So simply add, update, delete roles. And that is what we are going to be doing today. And I'm running this application now. So let me just show you what we are going to do today. It's going to be really easy and I want you to understand it. So if I go to, for instance, to maybe the plate home, I go to vehicle models, we are going to have a page like this to manage roles. So we are able to add role, edit and delete. For instance, in this case, we have a model, let's say 2021 model and how the description is 2021 as well. And I save, it's added here and I can click on it and edit anyone I want to delete. I can view the details, it comes out here. I can also delete it if I want. So this is simply what we are going to be doing. But in this case, it's going to be roles. So roles can be as many as you want. It can be any roles you want, HR admin, HR manager, fleet admin, driver, announce and so on. So number of roles or so the item to be roles, you are going to be used as roles. You are going to be using as roles is the, the actually depends on you. So let's have a page to actually simple page just like this to manage, manage roles. And by the principle of DRY, don't repeat yourself, or the principle of non-reinvention of the wheel, because you don't have to reinvent the wheel. We are simply going to copy this page, copy all the artifact of this page and change it to roles. And that's what I'm going to be doing now. So what are we going to do? But the complete spring security uh, tutorial for role-based authentication is right here in my website. But that is not what we are doing at this point. All right, so let's go ahead to do it. So basically, I'm going to be doing lots of copy and paste at this time. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going, I'm going to the models here, and I'm going to create a new Java class. Actually, I'm going to copy it and paste it. So in the models, I'm going to paste because I already have it, and it's also a simple class. So this is it, roles, it has details, it has description, that's all. And we also have its extent of the table because we want to audit this table. Okay, so we also need uh, the service as well as the controller. So I'm going to create a new controller here. I'm going to call it role controller. Take note that everything about uh, security user roles is placed in the security package. So roles controller, and we also need role service and roles repository. So I'm going to create here, I'm going to create roles service and I'm going to the repository and I'm going to create roles repository. It's going to be an interface. It's going to be roles repository. Okay, so roles repository is going to extend, uh, I think extends JPA uh, repository and it's going to be for role and the primary key type is integer. Okay, so Yes. Okay, so this is the, the all the files we need. We also need the page for managing roles. I mean, let me just show you. So a page like this, we need a page like this. And also I'm going to do copy and paste and change because I'm not going to repeat how to do it. I already explained how to create a, what do I call it, in-page crowd operation uh, page. So I'm going to copy the content of all these files and paste it and just refactor it. So let me do it right now and then we test it. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago All right.
right, so I've finished setting up all the pages and the files for managing roles. So you can see that I created roles, this file right here, that is a model. I also created the repository, you can see uh, the repository. I also created the controller. So basically the controller has to do with select all. We have um, get by ID, we have, um, then we have uh, save and we have delete. So normal prod operation. And I have the service just about the same thing like before. So the next one, the next, the next, the next thing I want to check is that if I go to security here, I go to security home. We have roles. If I go to manage roles, it doesn't work. Uh, so we are going to go to the home page for roles and try to link to the roles page. So let's see. Um, first, I'm going to stop this application from running and I'm going to the security home. This should be security home right here. And you see that in security home, we have users and roles. For the roles, we are going to be linking to slash security slash roles. I think so. So let's see. If I go to the role controller, yeah, slash security slash roles should, play, uh, should link, display the page for displaying a list of roles, allowing for managing the roles. So let me go to here. So this is a card. I mean, let me just show you this card here. So, ah, okay, stop running. So let me see. So I'm going back here and I'm going to say slash ro uh, slash security slash roles. I'm going down here, here. So at this point, it's going to display slash uh, the roles page because slash security slash roles is going to come here. It's going to come here, this uh, endpoint right here, and it's going to return the security slash roles template, which is a HTML page. So I'm going to run this application now and let's see if everything works fine. So I'm going to click on run. Let's just test the application. And so far, so good. Everything started perfectly well. And I'm going back. Yeah, so I'm going to refresh, login, and I'm going to security, security home and roles. It doesn't work. It doesn't work, but if I go to this place, let's see, um, roles template does not exist. By the way, the roles template actually exists. Uh, so normally how to solve this problem could be that we simply restart IntelliJ once again. But meanwhile, let me just check everything. This is fine. This is fine. The repository, this is fine. There's a controller on the service is also fine. Okay, so let's restart the application and then let's repeat the process. So I'm going to close IntelliJ and cancel this. All right, so I've closed up IntelliJ and I'm going to start up IntelliJ once again. And this time I hope it's going to work. So it should be fleet MS V2. And let's see if I hope it works because I don't really want this video to take a very long time. And let's uh, go ahead to run. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so I'm running now and uh, hopefully it starts up. I'd like to go back from here. Okay, it starts up, I think, in port 8080 and let's go check. So port 8080 refresh, login, and now I'm going to security, security home, roles. Now you can see that the roles actually displayed because we've restarted the application. Now we have a number of roles here. You can choose as many roles as you want. Who is going to manage the fleet? Who is going to manage the HR? Who is going to manage the um, the settings? Who is going to be super admin? Who is going to be admin? So there are a whole lot of roles you want to uh, you can add to your application. So that depends on you. And in this case now, you can actually select and modify and save and, and add new if you want. So this is basically roles management we've just completed. So we are now ready to dive right into role-based authentication.
actually we have to talk about user management because you should be able to assign user a role on assign user a role or maybe um yeah so you should be able to 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 manage your users in terms of the roles assigned to a user you want to see the roles a user have and you want to see roles that have not been assigned to a user you know so this is called user roles management that's the next thing we are going to be doing and that we are going to be doing in the next part i want to thank you for viewing please remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not su subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for just subscribe by clicking on the button below if you have any challenges whatsoever please feel free to let me know by leaving me a comment in the comment box below this video and do leave me uh, do connect with me as well on my social network profile the linkedin github this application is available on github the completed application as well as this current application is available on github so you have everything you need uh, right there so i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you